this past week, as we discussed the civility of Jesus at Hope Missionary Baptist Church, we also emphasized the fact that Jesus was courageous. Jesus was compassionate and Jesus was loving. And one of the points that was made on Sunday is that we must practice what we preach as we engage ministry. It doesn't matter what we are enduring. We must practice what we preach. If the enemy is rising against us, we must practice what we preach. If we don't agree with our brothers and our sisters, we must practice what we preach. And why must we practice what we preach? Because God has commanded us to follow his will and to follow his word. And we should be preaching Jesus. So if we are preaching Jesus, we should be practicing what we preach. So on today, I want to encourage you and myself to continue to practice what we preach. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come now as humbly as we know how. We are thanking you for this new day that you have blessed us to see. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives. And as we approach your throne, we simply ask you to forgive us of our sins. We ask you to forgive us of the thoughts that we have had. We ask you to forgive us of the assumptions that we have made. We ask you to forgive us for simply being contrary to your will, your word, and your way. And as we begin this new day, we ask you, Lord, to be a hedge of protection around us as we engage the process of ministry on today. We ask you to protect our families. We ask you to protect our congregations. And we ask you, Lord, to give us the focus to live right, to love right, and to walk right, even when we face situations that cause us to become weary. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen our bodies when it comes to our health. We ask you to regulate our minds, give us godly focus, help us to hear in a godly way, help us to respond in a godly way. We ask you, Lord, to give us a mindset to let go of the things that have us bound. Give us a mindset to let go of hurt feelings. Give us a mindset, Lord, to be forgiving people, remembering that you have forgiven us for a multitude of sins and that we should be willing to be compassionate towards one another and forgive and love one another. We also ask you, Lord, to prepare us to meet the challenges that we are going to face on today. Give us a mindset that even though we face challenges, that we keep our focus on you. We simply want to build our hopes on things eternal. Lord, we ask you to be with us as we encounter those who don't know you. Give us the words to say, but give us the heart to live right in front of them. We ask, Lord, that you just make us the examples that you would have us to be. We ask you, Lord, to put us back on the potter's wheel. We ask you to mold us and shape us into vessels that are fit to be used for your service. We ask you, Lord, to bless those who are sick. Bless those who have trouble in their home. Bless those who have nowhere to go. And give us a mind to simply love our brothers and our sisters as we love ourselves. So we ask you, Lord, to be with us on today. We ask you, Lord, to give us a heart to be connected to you on today. Even in the tough times, stay connected to you. But we honor you. We praise you. We 
It is, it is, it is our prayer that what we do give you the glory and the honor as we boldly go into this world on today. As we boldly go into the unknown, we want what we do and what we say to honor you. So be with us now as we go forth in the spirit of excellence for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.